this much legitimate pro talent, notably Artem, as you said. He's one of the best D-men in hockey as just a freshman as well. He's likely going to be a, a top five pick in next year's NHL draft if he chooses to go. And Adam Nightingale praises his play on both sides of the ice. Granted, he is a goal-scoring defenseman, but he is looking to be the highest Michigan State draft pick since 1986. When Joe Murphy went first overall to the Detroit Red Wings, he's the only one to ever go one overall in Michigan State's program history. But he is quite a player as well, is Artem. We're kind of sputtering to a start here with this, but right off the bat, it's Michigan State with the puck, and the Spartans will move it up the near wall. You're going to see physicality out of Ferris State. You know, we talked about their record, where they are in the pairwise. That doesn't mean they're not coming to play. And they will certainly let Michigan State know that they're in the building. And it's going to be a team that gets the faster of the two starts. It will certainly look pretty good. And a shot comes in right away on Logan Stein. And the goaltender turned that one aside. That was off the stick of Mueller here for Michigan State. So second set of lineups here. It's the alumni band helping out here at the GLI. That is deflected. And Logan Stein had to watch that go past the near post here to the near wall. Flung high in the air. And Michigan State will turn and gather it in. This is the guy to watch that just had the puck back there. Artie Levshinov. We're going to talk about him as the game goes on. Watch number five in white tonight. You will be impressed. Well, he's got the puck right there. Just about coughed it up in front of his own goal. But now he comes back the other direction. Fires it off to Jarecki. And he mishandled that. Ferris got it to the Michigan State blue line. But again, the Spartans will turn and gather it in. You know, we talked as Travis Shouty goes into play here for, Paris, uh, for Ferris State. That Shouty name is going to be uh, going both ways. Yep. Which we'll explain here. One per side, one Michigan State, one Ferris State. We saw the Pietalas in the last game. Why not do they here, too, right? And, and they're twins, yep. too. This, this is not just brothers. So they have uh, gotten a chance to see each other here this week. Uh, Travis told me that they've been texting back and forth, and that game that Ferris won last year was grist for the mill, let's put it, over the uh, weekend campfires over the summer. So we'll see who comes up with the upper hand here tonight. Here are the Bulldogs circling with it now, Drew Cooper. And he'll start the rush. Drops it here to Fairmouth. He'll cross and look towards his left. He'll leave it there. They try to get it back to Fairmouth. It's loose in between the circles. Shot never got through as the Spartan defense came over and knocked it down. And now a bit of a rush back the other way, shorthanded. And it's steered away at the last moment. And a nice play off the stick of Tanner Kelly, who had the puck there for Michigan State. Daniel Russell with that great defensive play on the other end. Back the other way, Fairmouth again. Sends it left. They try to get it back to him. Looking straight down the gut, fair State, but again, that never got through to DePasco. Gucciardi with a nice block. That is deflected down low. Good opportunity for Ferris State. But again, DePasco right there for Spartans to knock that one aside. Big save with 10 seconds to go here, the man advantage. Now Zach Fairmouth trying to create a little traffic on top of DePasco. That is onside, but not by much. Here comes Michigan State. They look for Savage. Circles back out to the point. Gucci Hardy and knocked away from him and it's Michigan State back to full strength. Working our way in. Shot in. Big save by Logan Stein. My gosh, coming off the stick of Savage, who's been everywhere. Another turnover, and that never got through, but Michigan State buzzing the puck and Baker taking the shot. All sorts of action here early as we're midway through the first period here. 1-0 Michigan State. Shot in. Save made and covering up. We owe you a break. From Grand Rapids, Michigan, you're watching the 57th Great Lakes Invitational. Michigan State 1-0. And the puck down in the Ferris State end. A lot of action down here to our left as a one-timer was actually in the air. They tried to swat it out of midair. That didn't go. Now a shot went a wrap around. Bounces off the edge of everything off of Mueller's stick. Michigan State again applying the pressure as they dig it in down low. Looking in for Lebster. Lebster in the corner now. Lebster out there with Mueller and Davidson. Long shot off of a Ferris State defender off the stick of I had this down. Levshinov. Levshinov. And we got a penalty coming up here back behind the play. Now they are offensively challenged to start with, and they really can't afford to get down by two. Spartan power play for another half a minute, and they'll hit the brakes and work their way into the zone. They cross. That shot never got through. And it now bounces high in the air, goes to the far wall. They'll swat at it there. There's Joey Larson out there with Savage and O'Connell. Going far side, the Spartans back out on top. They get things set over the far side. Back out on top. Shot in. Big save by Logan Stein. He came over and gobbled that up her in a hurry. Joe passed. He was part of that World Junior team a couple years ago. Took a bronze medal home as the third string goaltender. The WJC. Savage behind the net as the power play is over. Spartans with a shot deflected in past the post the near side of Logan Stein. 
It is chopped at here by Michigan State. Looking for points here, and if we could partner with Noah Giesbrecht, the other goalie who stopped 43 against Michigan State last year in the semifinal, but Stein is the guy that Bob Daniels thinks can steal games. Right out in front, score! And just like that, Michigan State makes it 2 to nothing. On a turnover, Tanner Kelly gets the goal here from in down low, but DePasco fighting right through it and getting a chance to see the puck and hold on. One-timer from the point. Picked out of the air by the goaltender DePasco right there on cue. But DePasco, I think, has a much bigger future ahead of him. The, uh, Sorry, the, grass. The, the shade of green is a little different, though, on the unis this time around. It, and you know what? I, I'll tell you my personal preference. I like the old Kelly better than the darker forest. You needed to know that. I'll sleep better tonight <laughs> knowing all that. My gosh. All the little things I've learned about my partner 10 years here. I did not know you preferred the Kelly green over the forest. I like that here. Spartans with a pickoff. Trying to work their way in. Ferris State defense got there in a real hurry to knock that away from Shouty. And again, long pass is going to be picked out of there by Michigan State. And again, right back to the line it goes. Circling again. Bouncing puck to the line. Did that come out? No, it didn't. They're going to say it's onside. Ferris State gave up on the play. And that missed everything and is going to ricochet out of the neutral zone. You saw Ferris State just kind of stop waiting for the whistle. So they dodge a bullet on that play with 2.20 to go here. Sorry, I stopped too. <laughs> There's that mic again. <laughs> right now that microphone might be the second star of the game. I was going to say it's probably going to be tournament MVP, MVP <laughs> at this rate. I'm going to vote for it. O'Connell crossed, had it taken away by Ferris State. The Bulldogs just lob it out to the neutral zone. Meanhouse once again. And Ferris State will step in front of it one more time. And they'll look to bring it up ice. Branshaw had the puck knocked away from him. That was Venuto for Ferris State, but the Spartans able to return. In a hurry, they move far side. Spartans straight in. The goaltender the save. Rebound to the side of the net. And trying to get a little cute was, uh, was the Russian, Lezhenov. Ooh, and that's going to trickle in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best. Well, tell Ben Owen he needs to get out of your road. Tell him to take space. your picture, Joey. <laughs> I know. <laughs> get, a new, get a new formal headshot while you're down there. Be a great background, right? Definitely be an action shot. <laughs> and it floats up into the crowd once again. Yeah, so this is low glass here, too, so you got to watch out. 25 to go, and it'll be Michigan State. Meanhouse handed over to the far side. Great look towards the middle. Spartans in front. Shot. They tried to get the pass through, and that did not work for Kelly. And back out here we go near the point. 13, now 12 seconds to go. Ferris State just trying to pin it against the wall. Nothing doing. And a shot goes in that somehow got kicked out by the goaltender, Logan Stein. Three seconds to go. Michigan State sent it towards the net, and that'll do it for period number one. Kind of a furious last couple of moments there in the GLI. So we are underway five on five to get this second period underway. Ferris State is in the red. Michigan State designated the home team on this one. They are in the whites with the green. And they enjoy that 2 nothing lead as you heard from uh, our friends here at our first intermission. It is chopped at, deflected down the length of the rink. We will not have an icing. No, they will get there first, will Michigan State. And they'll turn and grind up the far wall. It is dove at by Ferris State. They'll try and get the puck along the end wall, but it's Michigan State to dig it out of there with that. Nicholas Mueller. Another crowd microphone shot for us right there as they go far side to Levzhenov. Right in front, and they missed Lebster down low. Ferris State trying to gather it in in their own end. Again, we're just underway, period number two. Winner of this one gets Michigan Tech, 7 o'clock championship tomorrow. Winner of the and loser of this one gets a third place game with Alaska, who had a heck of a hockey game going till about the final 10 minutes in that first semifinal game, Dave. We just know that pretty much the nano. That angle down a little bit more. Savage O'Connell and Joey Larson up front here on the power play for Michigan State. But it's back to the point, and it trickles out of the zone. So they'll have to regroup. How to neutralize. Larson's one of the top power play scorers in the country this year with five. Kind of a role he played up at Northern Michigan, and he stepped right into it with uh, just green and white, not green and yellow. Davidson a drive, and the goaltender got there and swept away by the Ferris defe uh, defense. But boy, Logan Stein getting his works cut out for him here in this second period already. And he had 17 stops in the first period, and he's well on the way to that kind of a mark early here in the second. Levchinov looking. If the gut goes Michigan State, turn right back by Ferris State. They look pretty good on this penalty kill. Well, no nonsense is definitely going to help you, but you know the Bulldogs are one of the, the lowest-ranked penalty kill teams in the country. Michigan State is sitting around fifth on efficiency, so this is definitely a statistical mismatch, but so far, the Bulldogs are holding their own. Mueller looking left. 
And they'll light up the power play here. Far circle rolling in, shot in, picked out of the air by the goaltender. Can right in front. And again, the Spartan there not able to get anything on it. Shot from the point, blocked right there. Spartans with a little bobble, but they get the puck now. Can set this up right out in front. They go far circle. Save made by, Lo by uh, Logan Stein. Out to the top. Spartans with it. Levgen off. And again, the catching glove is the, the big part of the game here for the goaltender, Logan Stein. Looks like they're ready to come every time out there in waves. Deflected down. Low score. Simple rebound in front of the goaltender. Stein and Dorwart puts the rebound home, and it's Spartans up now 3-0. It went well wide, and that's going to trickle back out to neutral ice. Levgen off. Long cross ice, but there's no one there because the Spartans had changed on the play. Kicked out here by Michigan State. They line it up. Russell look for some help out there with well, the, the mixed lines right now because it's happening all right in front of the Michigan State in the Ferris State bench. And now the Bulldogs will change up. Here's Russell kind of by himself. And he'll just turn and guide it into the zone. O'Connell is out there with him. And you hear the skates and the... Slapping of that puck out here at Van Andel Arena as icing is going to be the call here against the Bulldogs. You keep seeing the name Daniel Russell. <laughs> found ways to find himself in, in the right spots on the ice, and I think Daniel has definitely come up with that same skill, but his dad never won the GLI, so he's got that holding over him if Daniel can come through this weekend. Travis Shouty turned and sent it in for Ferris State, working on the midway point of this hockey game. 3 nothing Spartans. And they have controlled the bulk of the action as, again, it's 28-9 to nine shots in favor of Michigan State. as a shot into the midsection of the goaltender. Odds by Michigan State. Well, he's faced 30 shots. Yep. 27 saves is actually not a bad number for a hockey game. That's the problem is they've given up the 30 in half a hockey game. As it's right in front and right on cue, there is our friend Logan Stein once again. A bit behind pace to get to that right now, but we'll keep an eye on that number. Spartans out top, sent it far wing, far circle, that's off traffic and out of play. The Ferris kept that puck away from the front of their net. Savage won the draw back, Michigan stayed out here at the point, that's through traffic, missed everything off of the stick of Neenhaus. And here's Michigan State again, Ferris stepped in front of it here and the Bulldogs try to clear it to the near wall, but again a nice play defensively by Michigan State, they coughed up the puck and then the Bulldogs gave it right back and they go in, delay the offside and they won't blow it dead, that is shouty here with the play for Ferris State. Travis Shouty. Yes, I was going to say, they, <laughs> if it sounds stereo, that's because it is. They're <laughs> twins. One wearing Spartan green, one wearing Ferris red. And in red, there's Ferris right on cue, and they will turn and send it the length of the rink. Easy call for the icing. Then couldn't knock it down. 4 nothing Spartans. It was 2 nothing after one. That poor microphone. <laughs> Lusion off. Looking for the move. Puts the move on, walks in, just missed the near post, the, the near post rather. My goodness. That's going to ricochet all the way down to the Michigan State end. Do you see that level of talent there, though, Mark? He just he oozes it on the ice. He's just so much fun to watch. Deflected by the Spartans into the zone. That was tipped. There'll be no icing and no offside. And this one gets past Luzhinov. Giving chase now is Meanhouse. And a nifty little play by Ferris State. Picked that puck out of there. Back out to the point. Bulldogs looking for a clear shot, and that missed everything. And I haven't even said Luca DePasco's name much here this second period, but that just whizzed right by him. This shot is right into his bread basket, however. And that is only our second shot on goal in 15 minutes and 19 seconds. He tried to tic-tac-toe in front and couldn't get it hooked up to Russell, who was standing all alone. And now the Bulldogs back the other way, onside, get the official out of the way, drop pass here. And that is deflected past traffic here to the near side for Branchow. Openings up a little bit here, my friend. Well, they got the goal, and they, you can see a little spring in the Bulldogs' step now. Under three minutes to go. But I tell you, Dave, if, Fer if Ferris gets another one here before the end of the period, you've got a whole new game Katie, going. Katie, bar the door if that's the case. And again, here we go. And the Bulldogs onside as they break it on the far side. Well, there's the announcement about Shouty's goal from Mitch Lake, who's on public address here at Van Andel Arena, normally at the McGinnis Student Ice Arena in Houghton. Right up on top, shot, didn't take it, and now to the side of the net, oh, they had it wide open. The goaltender's down, and the Spartans just couldn't get that shot through. That big pass of humanity was right there in the crease. Oh, Gary made a great move to get low, just couldn't tuck it in. 
Bottom of the far circle, where is it? Save made, and again, a nice look by Lepster, who we talked to in the first intermission. Logan Stein just flopping all over in there, hoping something would hit him. Breaking across Michigan State again. Back out, Neenhaus in front, shot, and a save off the big pillows there of the goaltender. Stein, rebound in front over the top of the net. Boy, there, Buds and lets Lepster once again. 145 remains in the period. 4-1 Spartans, and they've caught fire once again. Great look far side, but the defense got in front of that and created some problems. Now Spartans have it again. Neenhaus make that Levgen off. Far side and fanning on it, Michigan State. And now numbers back the other way here for Ferris. Bulldogs rolling in. They take it wide. Shot save made and up to the protective netting. Grab something to eat on your way home, but man, are there going to be a packed house tomorrow for two very good games here at Van Andel on the second day of the GLI. Well, think of the proximity just to Michigan State, Ferris, Western Michigan, for example. So there's good programs yep. within not that far. Lake Superior State up the road in the, in the UP, Northern Michigan, Michigan Tech, obviously the host team. So there's good college hockey in the area. And then when you get a good invitational like this one with an Alaska team that really came to play in that first game, you're going to start to get some buzz about this tournament as the years go on. And what a great venue this has been as it goes right out in front for Michigan State. Davidson on a good look, just couldn't pull the trigger and get it home to make it 5-1. to one. He's looking for the hat trick, remember, a goal in each period so far. He will turn and dump it down deep. Spartans back behind the net looking for a cross in the middle. And the defense was changing on the play, so it goes far side. And there is Logan Stein, all 6-2-205 of him, the big senior. Hopping up all over the place. Trevor Russell from Michigan Tech is one of those. And what is it about Tennessee that's not producing defensemen? This is going to go the length of the rink, not an icing, though, because it was Michigan State that actually sent it back into their own end. Neenhouse on the far side, busted up, and here comes Michigan State across the line. Looking for some help is Kelly. Waits, high slot. That shot didn't get through um, Levzhenov. And Ferris State turns it over again in their own end. They've had too many of those here in this hockey game as it's knocked away from Russell. Russell back out to the point. They go far wing. One-timer that just missed the net. Rebound is there, and Russell had the bouncing puck and the open side door and couldn't slam it home. Bulldogs finally to it, and they'll clear it out to neutralize. A great opportunity there for Michigan State. Bulldogs back on it. Travis Shouty, lone goal, lone goal scorer here for the Bulldogs. Gucciardi. He'll joust for it back behind the play. Spartans getting low down with Savage. And again, the Bulldogs in their own end can't clear. They get it to the line, but not out. And a loose puck here for Michigan State, and that's deflected. Didn't get to the receiver on the far side. Back the other way, Ferris State, and here they come. Here is Schleppi looking for some help now as it's taken down deep. And again, Michigan State, Dave, collapsing defensively in their own end. Really, really nice. Foot speed and finding ways to get to the puck, not allowing Ferris to get open. This will be onside for the Spartans, and a shot that never got through. The Bulldog defense just lifting this high in the air. Out to center ice as we're almost a quarter of the way done with period number three in our second semifinal. Winner gets Michigan Tech tomorrow evening at 7. Third place game. Waiting in the wings, the Nanooks from the University of Alaska. Far side, good look down low, and at the last minute, the Michigan defense came over and swept that one out of there. They've done a really nice job in front of their young goaltender, Geary, making another great play. And back the other way, that's just out of the reach of Levzhenov. And Spartans again just missing the net. Michigan State. Jarecki had his pocket picked for a moment. Back out to the point. It stays in the zone. And on offense is Neenhaus. Looking. Top of the slot. Save made. Rebound loose. And it's in skates. Backhanded past the far post. And nice look there by Shouty. The other one this time. Yep. Not the goal scorer. But that would certainly even things out at the, uh, the New Year's family uh, party, wouldn't it? <laughs> Each one of them scored a goal in this game. As Michigan State is going to let this one head into the Ferris State end, they'll finish their change with 11.40 to go here, third period. Long day of hockey, fun day of hockey here in Van Andel. We're just getting warmed up. Third place game in the championship game tomorrow. And we should have two more pretty good ones. Ferris State drew Cooper. Sends it across. That trickles in. And DePasco didn't get a lot on that one, but was able to send it to the far side. Bulldogs again with some pressure now. They fight for it in that far circle. And Michigan State, three on three, they'll move up. So remember that first game, Michigan Tech getting a lot of those shots that were wide and came right back out of the zone. It's because they're shooting far post. Michigan State this whole game has been shooting near post, and it's keeping those rebounds in play, and they can keep the pressure on the defensive end. Michigan State heading up ice. Russell had his pocket pick there. Loose now. Russell got it back right towards the middle, dug out by Ferris State. And Jacob Dirks back with a head of steam the other way, but he partially fanned on the shot. 
And now Michigan State, some numbers possibly developing back the other way. Going to drop it here to the near side. Looking down low, backhand to the side of the net from Russell and a great pass. And that was just fumbled for a moment by Levjanov here for Michigan State. Bulldogs back the other way. Try and she hit the shot over, and they did. It cleared the crossbar. And one of the best chances they've had in a little while for the Bulldogs. And that was Venuto, too. It's a guy they want with the puck near the net. He had a lot of company. He's there in college hockey. Well, this one's been pretty fun, too. As we're just a maybe quick little move away from this being a 4-2 game. Of course, Michigan State, the way that they've been going, just a quick move or two away from making it a 5-1 final. As again, it is swept into the zone here for the Bulldogs. They'll kick at it there, but Michigan State just getting back on these pucks so quickly. As it's moved up ahead, Mueller. And he'll try and avoid one man on the far side. They send it in, icing the call again. And we've gotten season starts at the GLI. And Adam Nightingale didn't play for him, played for Rick Comley, but you know, definitely always takes those to heart. And got to talk to a former Michigan State trainer, Dave Carrier. There by Jack Misick of Ferris as he just slid the body right in front of the play and got it off his stick. Ferris State back the other direction. They look for the tip in front. That just wasn't there. Dirk's looking for some help. Back here to the near point. They will pinch in. Misik from a bad angle. Never got a shot away, but a penalty is going to be called here. After that hit that he took right before the penalty. So we're down about 40 seconds to go here. Crossing is Shouty for Ferris State. He scored the lone Bulldog goal. And from the corner, under the glove of DePasquale. 